Okay, got my tent emptied out. Everything stayed dry, quite nice. Except for I did have a little bit of water that seeped in from the rain fly having flown back a little bit. It was like got caught on the net up there. So it fell down a little bit in the middle of the night, but overall everything's dry. Oh, that water spot's still there. Water stays in and stays out, <laughs> this thing, so it works well. So yeah, I gotta clear that out. And then we're gonna shake off our rain flies, pack everything up, and then eat, eat our last breakfast before we leave. The aftermath of where we got stuck yesterday. It's still like deep puddles. And it's still very soft over here. Like, oh my goodness. My shoes are getting caked in mud just walking through. Piece of the scrap wood we tried to use. Still, it's such pretty scenery back here. It's amazing. The sun's kind of peeking through. It's like, you look this way and it's kind of like, meh. But then you look this way and you're like, ah. <laughs> I forgot to say, like, I slept so much better last night. I had three pairs of socks on. I only plan on having two, but one of them's like pretty thin. So I was like, eh, well, I'll go ahead and do three. <laughs> so I had three pairs of socks on and I stuffed one of my extra blankets, which is just like a throw blanket, but I stuffed it into my sleeping bag, which made it super tight. So I didn't really like that. I couldn't move as much, but I definitely did not get cold last night. I did, however, still wake up a few times and it was because I was like uncomfortable because I was like stiff. And um, yeah, I'm not really sure why, maybe because of the cold, but I mean, I was on an air mattress, and air mattress is comfortable enough, but oh well. Doesn't matter. I get to sleep in my bed tonight, so. <sighs> and even though it's in the 30s out right now, it doesn't really feel like it. It's in the high 30s, so it doesn't feel too bad. It's just like a light breeze. It's not like super windy, and it's quite bearable, so it's not too bad out here. Plus, packing up, you're moving a lot, so you're getting warm doing that. But like as much trouble as we had at this campsite i hate saying goodbye to this view it is so pretty we uh are gonna head out to see other views today actually we're probably not gonna see views because it's gonna be cloudy as you can see low-lying clouds if you go up in the mountains all you're gonna see is clouds like what we drove through yesterday that was scary never seen clouds so thick in my life but uh um, yeah we're gonna go and hopefully see some waterfalls waterfalls should be amazing today because of all that rain that we got yesterday so excited about that and then we're just gonna gradually head home from there hopefully not be out too late today get home at a reasonable time So you're not having chicken teriyaki rice for breakfast? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm having pizza for breakfast, the leftovers from last night. How, why am I not able to open this spot? Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> breakfast of champions right here. Yummy. And coffee. I don't think coffee goes well with pizza, so I'm probably going to eat the pizza first and then have coffee. You are having chicken teriyaki rice for breakfast? And Doritos. No, I think I left the other one at home. So I guess I have no other choice. <laughs> Which backpacking meal? The only one that's available. <laughs> did we bring the tire tracks with us? <laughs> yeah. Did we leave anything behind? Yes. Yes, we did. But this is our campsite. You can see where our tents were because it's like a little more dry right here and right there. And you can see where our footprints are from all the mud. <laughs> oh, we left the trace all right. <laughs> a big one right there. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we got everything. So goodbye, beautiful oh, view. Yeah, listen, all right, we are in the car now, finally ready to head out and your phone is bright. <laughs> You're like reflecting, I can see it in the video and I'm like, oh, eyeball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? So anyways, we are headed out now, finally, uh, an hour after what we were supposed to leave. We won't tell anybody. Now they're, they're fully aware that we were still here. 
And yeah, now we're gonna go see some waterfalls and slowly make our way back to Chattanooga now that it is noon. Hopefully make it back to Chattanooga in like six hours. That's, that's the plan. So we have arrived on this crazy road. This is the parking area. This is the parking area for Soco Falls. So we gotta hike down. Desiree said we have to like climb down with a rope and stuff and I'm I'm scared. <laughs> Google Maps tells you to take like a road that's around the corner and that road is right there. Through those trees you can kind of see it. But it's all gravel and then a little bit of asphalt. Uh, it doesn't seem like anybody goes down it and Desiree saw a rope said that it was like blocked off so we didn't do that. <laughs> we just went where I guess you're supposed to go. So if you do follow the directions from Google Maps don't go down the little gravel road. Go around the corner. Depend on which direction you're coming from. You might be coming from the other direction and you don't need to go around the corner. Just find the little gravel pull off on the side of the road. But yeah, this it's a steep hike down. So far this is not bad. It's been a ramp and some steps. But I guess the tricky part's coming up. Yeah, so there's a rope to hold on to <laughs> to help you down this. It gets worse. <laughs> yeah, that section right there is a little steep, but it's not bad. It's really not too bad. Having the rope definitely helps, but it's not even fully necessary. It's a good, just safety thing. Yeah, we just came down that. Having the ropes makes it a lot more secure though, but wow. Yeah, this is very slick, steep, and muddy. I'm thankful for the rope, but getting back up is gonna be difficult. <laughs> There's some big steps, and like down here is very slick and muddy. I was gonna go down there a little bit further, but the, as you can see, the guy in front of us slipped there, and I'm gonna fall if I try to do that, so I don't trust myself. And it is really pretty through here. It is time to head back up that. Oh. That. Like, we have to go up that. Not looking forward to it. go out to the little observation deck. Desiree said this was not here last time she was here, so I guess this is fairly new. So the view from here is not bad. Like, if you don't want to risk your life going down to the bottom, the view from the bottom is definitely better. But you can pretty much see all of it from up here on this observation deck. Goodbye. Goodbye, Soko Falls. On to the next waterfall location which is 30 minutes down the street. We're gonna get on the Blue Ridge Parkway, maybe see some views. It looks like the clouds have kind of gone away, so I think, think we'll be able to get some views. And that'll be lovely. So we passed one of these signs yesterday where like someone stole the sign, but no, they've been removed so they can be repaired. Kind of odd that they printed that and put that there while they repair it. I don't know, but it is pretty clear. I mean, it's pretty cloudy over there.
frosty trees. A snack with a view. <laughs> a snack. Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> my turn to lose my food. Hey, pick it up. I will. I'll pick it up. With a view. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> So the road is here and then it curves there. Water Rock Knob is there. And so like we parked there the other day and hiked across the street and hiked there. We hiked to there, but I think we were supposed to hike to there and we just didn't make it that far. Like we turned around there and then came back. See, those That's crazy. We were going up and down. Exactly. So, like, we started on that one and we finished on the second one, and but we didn't make it to the third one, yeah. which is definitely higher. Oh yeah, that one would have. That's us. crazy. <laughs> yeah, we were. That's like only the halfway point too. A little over halfway, but yeah. Now, I wish there were more clouds though, because then it would like create more of like a picture. <laughs> this whole trip, like, my directions are not working in my head. However, I did pick up on the fact that we were going the wrong way. But, like, I didn't, like, I thought so, and I was like, well, maybe since my directions are messed up, maybe I was just wrong the whole time. No. We are like, actually going the wrong way. I recognized it from Water Rock Knob, because the way we approached it, I'm like, this is the way we approached it when we were headed north. Like, it's the same, like, everything's on the same side of the road. So I was like, if we're heading south, it should be flipped, you know? And so I'm like... That's odd. And then I was like, I think we're going the wrong way, but I didn't think too much of it. But I just now pulled up the map, and yeah, we're we're headed back into North Carolina, like deeper, further north of Carolina, North Carolina, and that's not the way home. So we had to turn around and head back. We were trying to we're trying to take the scenic drive on the parkway. We're really making a scenic drive on the parkway. So um, yeah, we passed where we got on, which was at 19. And now we have to go back to 19 because it's closed at a, uh, right at Balsam Mountain. So I thought we were going lower elevation. I thought we could make it all the way through the, to the Smoky Mountain part. It's only a 14 mile jaunt, but no, we're not making it that far. <laughs> it's making us turn around. <sighs> so Mango Falls, just go up the stairs. Oh goodness, lots of stairs. But the main road is like right there across the across the little bridge here and there's a um, there's a sign at the front of the bridge telling you it's down here and everything so hard to miss okay out of breath going up all those steps there's over hundreds of them over hundreds yes <laughs> and then it's a little muddy through here since it rained that bench is really high off the ground. <laughs> oh. Always tripping. Um, I don't think that's accurate. I don't think it's close for repair. I think this is all you're supposed to go to anyways. Nice little bridge. Wow. That's insanely tall. Beautiful. We made it back down all those stairs. We were discussing how many we think there were. We should have counted, but we didn't. Because <laughs> it, it goes past up there. It goes a lot further, too. So I'm thinking there's 
around like I said somewhere between 100 and 200 I know that's a very big range but it's definitely over 100 but I don't think it's quite 200 that is our guess now we head to a nearby park to heat up our dinner to eat and then we head home can't believe this trip is almost over already we are about to be attacked by ducks they see people and they're like food food yeah because people feed them all the time we have no food for you you can go on now goodbye wow people really do like feed these ducks all the time apparently no food for you shoo 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 <laughs> so we're gonna go over to the pavilion over here to eat hopefully the ducks don't follow us so far we're safe no ducks behind us we're good he even says don't feed them. Oh uh, yeah. Says please don't feed waterfowl. But apparently people do. Otherwise they would not have been begging like they were. Don't feed. Seriously, like my favorite food for camping because it's, I mean look. Only need to add a cup of hot water and then I will have chili. And it comes in this little bowl. It comes with a spork that I actually use for everything else while I'm camping. Uh, hard to open with one hand. Please hold. Okay, now I got it open. But yeah, see, just put it in this little bowl and the spork attaches on the inside of the lid and comes out. And I've like just washed and reused this spork the entire trip. Like this only utensil you need. So it's like, this is the perfect, the perfect camp everything. <laughs> you really dropped your spoon in your water. <laughs> uh, I didn't bring my, oh wait, I think it's in here. They're coming for us. They're coming back for us. Or are they gonna co go on? They better not come back over here. Keep on, keep on rolling. <laughs> keep on floating, float on by. Don't stop here. Keep on going. There's there's nothing for you here, keep on going. That's right, keep keep going. No, no, no. Well, two of them, two of them kept on going. Am I gonna have to go shoo them away again? Yes. Go on. Go on, there's nothing for you here. Go on. Go on. That's right, swim away. Swim away. now at the car for the second time because I spilled <laughs> so getting some napkins because of the wind it sprayed everywhere all over the table and stuff and then I sloshed it on myself trying to uh, stir it because I don't know what I'm doing apparently to say we don't have it together this trip is an understatement <laughs> like we do not have it together have no sense of direction we have spilled like everything. <laughs> Desiree spilled more than I have, which is saying a lot because usually I'm the big spiller. So yeah, it's been, it's been bad. <laughs> it is. Oop. Need two hands for this. Chilling on carne time. There's where the wind took it away. <laughs> some of the powder, but some of the spices. Get a good stir. Oh yeah, it's got like lentils and quinoa in it, so it's still high in protein even though it doesn't have meat. Not that I'm vegan at all, it's just easier for stuff like this. We finished dinner now, did not get eaten by ducks, and we did not feed the ducks. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> we are now headed out to find a bathroom, and then we're headed back to Chattanooga. So, I... I'm like, I want to say I doubt anything eventful that you guys want to see is going to happen between now and home. But we do have a three hour drive. And the way our trip's oh, no. been going. <laughs> oh no. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> hey, three hours in two minutes. Yeah. I don't want to jinx it by saying nothing else eventful is going to happen. I'm going to close out the video here. But nothing else eventful is going to happen. So I'm going to close out the video here. <laughs> and if you're looking at the time scrolling thingy at the bottom and it says like there's another five minutes, that means... I jinxed us and ruined everything. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all. So, if you enjoyed this video, 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see y'all next week.